This is Chris, the Idaho Painter, and this is Paint Life TV, and I'm here with my beautiful daughter, McKenna, and this is part three of our video series, Painting McKenna's Beautiful Home. Today, we're gonna be spraying the trim after we've already prepped it, and we've already spackled and patched all the holes in the walls, so stay tuned for this video. Today we're gonna to be spraying your tram. We've already gone through the prepping process. We've sanded it, we've done some caulking, we've got it all masked, ready to go. I'm gonna show you how to use an airless sprayer and then we're gonna be spraying the trim. We're gonna be spraying it with a 310 fine finish tip. And the reason why we spray it is we don't wanna leave brush strokes or roping all over it. We want it to look like an automobile finish. So we're gonna spray it. That's what we typically do. So let's get on with the spraying process. We're gonna move down here and I'm gonna show you how to load up a Titan uh, 440 impact sprayer. And then I'm gonna teach you how to spray the tram. Hopefully um, you know, everything goes well and we have some pretty looking tram. All right, so here we are, McKenna. We've got to our sprayer. This is a Titan 440 impact airless sprayer. This is a small airless sprayer. It's actually uh, not the exact one, but this is the type of sprayer I started off my painting company with 18 years ago. This sprayer, we've got a hose, airless spray gun right here. We are gonna be spraying our uh, finish with a 310 fine finish tip. The airless sprayer has two, two hoses that come out of it. One of them, this is a prime hose. This is what purges all the air out of an airless sprayer because it is what it says is it's airless. The only thing that comes out of the hose right here is paint. It's not mixed with air at all. It's, it's an airless sprayer. This will prime and purge everything, all the air out of the system. This is the intake tube right here. This is what goes into our paint. This is gonna suck the paint up, take it into the airless sprayer, send it out to the hose, and we'll be able to spray our paint with it. So the first thing we do, I'm gonna, I got some clean water in here. I'm just gonna turn this thing on. I'm gonna run some clean water through it first because it has antifreeze in it, and then we'll go from there. It has an on-off button right here, and then it has a pressure button right here. This is gonna adjust the pressure. So I can turn it on, and you can see it's gonna start sucking paint up through the intake tube and sending it out the prime tube. So now I got just water. So the orange stuff was antifreeze. That was what was in there. So now this thing is ready to go. It's just got water in it. I can take this and drop this right into my paint. I have my gallon of paint sitting in there and I have it in a five gallon bucket so it won't easily spill over. We have everything set up in an outpack paint station and that way if any oil leaks out of the sprayer or if any paint spills, it's gonna be contained in our secondary containment. It's not gonna get on the floor. We have drop cloths down too, is even protection on top of that. So the first thing you do is just, you're gonna put your intake tube down right into your paint. And I wanna make sure my paint is stirred up right here. And it is stirred up. This is just white trim paint right here. So now that is our intake tube. That's going to suck up paint right here. You're just going to turn your on and off button off right here. And I'm going to turn it on. I want my pressure just not all the way full. I'm going to turn it all the way down to off and then just turn it up just a little bit. Turn it on. It'll start priming. As soon as paint starts to come out, I've got one thing to tell you. Um, it's on prime right here. This is our prime switch right here, uh, right here in the um, horizontal position right here. That is spray. That will allow the, uh, the sprayer to turn it to spray, to spray out the gun. When it's in the vertical position like that, that means it's priming, sending paint through the prime tube and purging any air out. So once you see paint coming out of your prime tube, I flicked it to spray and now it's in the spray mode. I can turn my pressure up. I typically spray my trim around 200 PSI and I know this is probably a complicated process, but I got all kinds of videos explaining how to use airless sprayers. So this isn't going to be good enough just this one time, but it's ready to go now. What I want to do, make sure all my fittings are ready to go. My pressure is set. I'm going to be spraying at about 2,000 PSI, so I'm gonna turn that up till it reaches 2,000, about 2,000 PSI. I'm gonna run all the water, because I got my line right here, there's water in the line. I wanna run all the water out of the line until I just get paint. So now I got my 
gun all set up. I always like using extension so I don't have to bend over or reach. So I typically have like a six inch to 10 inch gun extension on there. Got my 310 tip, it's all set up. My pressure looks pretty, pretty good right there. If we're gonna begin spraying, we wanna lay out our drop cloths, make sure our drop cloths are all around where we're gonna be spraying, and then we'll start spraying. So let's set up those drop cloths. One final check to make sure we're not gonna get any overspray on the floor or anything. We wanna make sure we have our respirators and our um, eye, eyewear, protective eyewear on, and then we'll get going. I took the extension off because it was, um, I got it set up and it was spitting pretty bad. And, and for a first time use, I don't want you to have to deal with spit. So I eliminated the extension because it won't spit with an extension. We've got a Titan fine finish three tip, ten up tip on there. We're running a Titan RX Pro gun. And I'll just give you just a couple pointers. And when you spray, kind of like if you're spraying with a spray can, you don't want to pull the trigger and then move the gun. You want to move the gun and then pull the trigger. So move the gun, pull the trigger and release the trigger, keep moving, and that way you have two nice feathered edges right there. So what I don't want to do is pull the trigger and then move, because you can see, hopefully you can see that, it left a nice heavy spot on there, right there. So move the gun, pull the trigger, release the trigger, stop moving the gun, very simple. We're gonna, this house is very nice, because this house doesn't have trim around all the windows, nor does it have any trim around the door jams, except the two entries. So we only gotta spray two door jams. I'll do short sections and runs. I'm gonna spray the top of the baseboards, and then I'm gonna spray the face of the baseboard. So I'll spray the top, but I do wanna put my mask on. So I'll put mask, and eyewear, goggles. and you're all set up with your goggles. So safety, safety first. So here we go. Just like that. So you can see what I did and you want to have a nice, smooth, consistent speed. And I started right there. So I want to just over the top two times on the face, just like that. I shoot it again at the top. Two times on the face, just like that. Look at it, see how it looks. Let it light right there. I want you to give it a try. First time, McKenna. Really? Oh yeah. Move your hand, then pull the trigger. Is it a little risky doing by the fireplace? No. Oh. Okay, go again. There you go. There you go. Okay, not bad. So yeah, let me work with you here around the fireplace. Let me get this um, right here. Keep about. So what you want to do, that's not bad. So you want to stay about 12 inches away from the surface. Let me get it. So we'll move over here. I'll have you spray right over here. Yep, do it some more. Not bad. Get a spray. I'm just ready to flow back and forth. All right, McKenna, we've got all your trim sprayed in your kitchen, and now we're just going to continue working down the halls. What well, do how think? does it look? It did I do good? You did good. I've been seeing. Do you think a woman as old as me is capable of doing this? You're by themselves. By your, you know, all you got to do. There's a guy on YouTube. He has a bunch of videos. I think over a thousand videos. He'll teach you every step you need to know on oh, painting. Oh, who is so, that? Um, it's like Paint Life TV. There's, oh, you know, okay. um, there's a guy out there. I'll look it up. Yeah, just look it up, and you, um, you might learn, you know, some well, some tips and some, tricks okay. on painting. But it looks great. Trim's white. Um, we'll look at it after it dries, and if it needs a second coat, we'll spray a second coat. It looks like it covered in one coat, and then we're gonna be doing the walls pretty soon. So we'll be pull. We don't need to pull up the masking. So we'll just leave the masking, leave the drop cloths, and we'll start rolling the walls. This is um, part three. Stay tuned for part four. That is going to be walls or ceilings, whatever we decide next. This is a multi-part uh, series. We did spackling the walls. We did prepping your trim. Now we did spraying your trim, and you're going to have a brand new home pretty soon. Are you happy? 
Oh, I'm happy. What color are we going to be painting the walls? Um, purple. Purple. So I <laughs> it's good. I think it's going to be gray. It's going to be gray. If you have any questions, leave them in the com comment section below. If you think McKenna did a good job spraying, give her a thumbs up. Wouldn't you like a thumbs up? I'd like a thumbs up. She would like a thumbs up. Hopefully we'll see you on our next video, part four. Out.